This insect is about 0.75 inches and lives in many temperate areas. The putter wasp, as it is called, are black insects with yellow or white markings. They have long, strong mandibles or biting jaws. In preparation for laying her eggs, the female finds a puddle or creek where there's plenty of dirt. First, she mixes the dirt with water until it's just the right consistency. Then she carries mouthfuls of the mud in her mandibles. She also hunts for vegetation or a rock and uses the mud to build her pot-shaped nest. And that's how the potter wasp got its name. Next, she may find some caterpillars and sting them and then carefully put them in her nest. Only then does she lay her eggs. Once the eggs hatch, the babies have food to eat until they're large enough to find their own. Now, if the mother didn't provide so well for her babies, they wouldn't survive. And that's because once she lays her eggs, she flies away. And in the same way, when God set up his church, he knew that pastors, missionaries, and his people would need to be taken care of so that they could spend more time preaching the gospel. So he said, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this. Malachi 3.10. Tithe is a tenth of whatever you gain, according to the Bible. And actually, everything, technically, you've earned belongs to God. And God has promised that when you're faithful in returning your tithe to his storehouse, you'll receive a wonderful blessing. Give it a try. Take 10% and say, this is God's. I'm going to find a way to give this to God. So leave a comment in the comment section below. What Bible characters tithed and what happened when they did? Thank you guys so much for watching Wild Devos. To find out what lemmings are and how they apply to your spiritual walk, click the video to your left. And remember that being with Jesus is the wildest, craziest, most amazing adventure you could ever have. Thanks for watching.